Hey guys, I'm Ron Bossy, and in this mini lesson we're going to talk about tremolo picking. So, you know, for years I've been saying to my students that tremolo picking is one of the most often overlooked aspects of guitar playing. And, and when done correctly, it can really help you gain a lot of dexterity and fluidity with the right hand. So, what is tremolo picking? Well, essentially it's fast alternate picking on one string, like this. Now, I want you to look at it like this. Let me give you sort of a visual on this. Look at your right hand as a engine, okay? This is the engine that is fueling the left hand, okay? Uh, the left hand is sort of like a car, if you will, okay? And if the car does not have an engine, it can't move, okay? So again, this thing is the, the, the fuel for that car. Now, that doesn't mean that this car is not important. This is incredibly important because this has to move left and right and from top to bottom and so on and so forth. But again, it cannot go anywhere if this is not intact, okay? So let me give you a few tips on how to get a better tremolo pick, okay? First of all, um, I want you to, instead of picking straight up and down like this, notice all that attack. There's a lot of friction there, okay? I want you to angle the pick slightly. See how the volume diminishes just slightly? But it also has a lot more fluidity, okay? If I try to play really fast here, it's hard, okay? When I angle it, it's very fluid, okay? Very nice, okay? Um, notice that my, my hand is, is very close to the guitar. Okay? And I'm not free floating out like this, like I, I, I have support. I'm actually taking my wrist and I'm, I'm bracing it here on the guitar. It's actually on the bridge right here. Okay? Uh, the other thing is don't pick like this. Look at all this motion. That, that's, that's for strumming. Okay? Th this doesn't work when it comes to uh, picking. You want a very small range of motion. Look how short that is. I'm literally hugging the strings, okay? If you really want to tear it up, that's the only way to do this, okay? Um, last thing, and, and hugely important, uh, yet very complex at the same time, is pick lightly, okay? This string does not want to be attacked. The more you attack it, the more it's going to resist you, okay? And uh, you're not going to be able to burn with this. I mean, it's just as simple as that. So um, pick lightly. And, you know, a lot of my students say, well, how lightly? Well, it, again, it, it depends on the, um, uh, the thickness of your pick. It depends on the thickness of the strings and how much pressure you exert. I would say pick as lightly as you need to in order to get a sound out of that string, okay? So anyway, what does th all this mean, okay? What is this going to help us achieve? Well, I'll tell you right now, it's going to allow you to play some classic riffs. or even like ideas like this. Okay? And in addition to great songs and riffs, it's going to allow you to just have better control, um, better uh, dexterity, better fluidity, and most importantly, more confidence in your delivery. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.